Hi everybody! Welcome to Cactus Cafe. My name is Anna. So today I have my Schlumbergera cuttings right in front of me. So these are the cuttings that I got from my aunt from Long Beach, California. So about a month ago, I posted a video of uh, the free plants that I got from my aunt from Long Beach, California. So um, this is among the plants that she gave me. So this is from her garden. And then in that video, I also said that I was going to root this Slumbergera in water. So it has been about um, one month since I put these cuttings in water and as you can see my water propagation is successful so they have formed roots so this is one month after some of them are slow but some of them really put out a lot of roots so now I think um, some of these are ready to be potted up and the ones that have still small roots I would just put them back in like this one I'll just put them back in the water for it to grow some more roots so I want more roots so I think like this one this should be ready to be potted up so I think I'm gonna pot this so what I'm going to do is I'll separate them see which ones I can plant and which ones are going back to the cup with water so that it will grow some more roots here are the ones that I chose to uh, plant today so these are the ones with the most roots in them normally um, maybe I should let them grow some more in water but then I'm pressed for time because it is already fall and it's going to be very cold soon and I want them to get established in their pots before it gets too cold so I'm taking my chance and potting them up right away so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pot them up in two kinds of mixtures so one I will be using 50% um, cactus soil mix and 50% orchid bark so this is the orchid potting mix so I have some barks here that I have already soaked in water so and then the other one it is going to be 100% orchid bark at the moment now this is just an experiment because um, a few weeks ago I had some Slumbergera cuttings and I rooted them in water and it rooted but when I planted it in a hundred percent cactus soil mix the stem just rotted so i think a hundred percent cactus soil mix is not working for me or maybe at least the type of cactus soil mix that i am using so i am going to try a different uh, technique and i'll keep you guys posted on which one is successful and so this is what i've done so far this one is in 100% orchid bark and this one is in 50% orchid bark and 50% cactus soil mix and then I still have a few more cuttings here that um, I'm keeping in water for it to develop more roots so I'll keep you posted on the development of these uh, cuttings hopefully they don't rot so we'll see which works better the 100% orchid bark 50 50 50% um cactus soil and orchid bark good morning everyone i just want to show you the coffee that i am enjoying this very cold morning so this was given to me by my sister-in-law it's a chocolate truffle flavored coffee not sponsored though i wish <laughs> but it is so good and it kind of reminds me of the upcoming holidays the christmas holidays which is coming up in the next few weeks okay so going back to my epiphytic orchids my slumber jira so it has been two months guys since i potted up these two 
and i know it's been long but um things have been busy on my end with uh, work and with family life and i had to prioritize some things too in my garden so i know this would be fine you know it's been rooting in water so it kind of um went behind in my priority list but anyway let me show you how these look right now so these are the ones that i put back in water to root further and oh my gosh they really did root a lot so that is after two months so two months is um too long actually i could have planted this earlier but anyway here they are now so all of them have rooted very very well so they are all they are ready now to be potted up now i just want to show you the two pots that i planted earlier so this is the 50 50 mix 50 percent cactus soil and 50 percent orchid bark and this is the 100 percent orchid bark mix so in my experiment i am happy to report that they are a success and both of them are still alive and they are growing and not only are they growing but they are also developing buds which is actually a surprise for me i wasn't expecting them to form buds yet because i just planted them this year so they started out as cuttings but they did develop buds so i am happy so these two pots have been in my garage for about a month now and they've been under my spider farmer grow lights so it's too cold now for me to keep this outdoors so my garage is warmer so they've been doing fine under the grow lights now if you are going to ask me which one is better which soil mix is better um i cannot say really which one is better but all i can say is both of them works so this one the orchid bark it is throwing off roots in all directions so as you can see right there that is a root there's another root here that's been forming upwards climbing upwards so it's behaving like an orchid so it's throwing roots in every direction the only thing that i do not like about 100 percent orchid bark mix is that i have to water it more often like the, for this one it is fall right now it is cooler but it dries up very fast still that i have to be spraying it with water about every three days just to keep the orchid bark moist um, as opposed to this one this one i only water it lightly about i think once a week so i do it twice a week for this sometimes three times a week if it's a warm day or warmer days but for this one i only do it once a week so if i were to choose between the two i think i would go for the 50 50 mix at least in my environment because i don't have to water as often but if you are concerned about rotting i would say you have a better chance in the orchid barks um, you have a less chance of your cuttings to rot with an orchid bark because there's more air circulation in there than in this 50 50 soil mix so now i am going to pot up the rest of the cuttings and after having said those things i've decided to use the 50 50 percent potting mix for the rest of my cuttings so this is my soil mix so this is cactus soil and this is orchid bark mix so we are just gonna mix them up Ooh, nice and hot coffee perfect for this weather it is so cold guys right now i am doing this and it's 40 degrees outside 
it is still fall but it's getting very cold here in las vegas we've had um rain for the past couple of days and snow up in the mountains So I am putting up this uh, slumber jira. This is the Thanksgiving cactus, if I'm not mistaken. So this is the one with the more pointy edges. And now we're gonna put up this Christmas cactus. So this is the one with the scallop edges. Just look at the length of that root. So I regret not having planted this guys earlier because as you can see, I missed out on the opportunity of them developing flowers. So I could have had more buds at this time of the year if I planted this earlier. But it's okay. Better late than never. <laughs> Hopefully they'll develop buds maybe early on next year when they get settled in this pot. Now I have a few segments here that broke off accidentally. I'm just gonna take my chance and stick them in the soil hopefully they will root so i would like to thank everyone who has subscribed to my channel thank you so much for your support i truly appreciate it and if you're subscribed guys make sure you hit that bell so that you get notified right away whenever i post new videos so i will be keeping this in my garage along with these two pots that i previously planted and uh, it's warmer in my garage and they'll be under the grow lights but i will be watering these two new pots because the cuttings have been in water so the roots are used to being wet so i will be lightly watering them just to make sure the soil medium is a little damp all right so there you have it these are all my slumber jira cuttings hopefully this will also form buds in a few months once they take root and they get um settled in their new pots okay so thank you guys again for watching until my next video bye and cheers